I just uh, completed a site assessment on a, on a home and the reason for the request of getting some help, they were having some health issues. So I, I, I always start in the basement when, um, uh, when I do an assessment and I found a few things. I'm going to talk to you about it for a second. I, I went in the basement and uh, there's, there's quite a few contents on there, but that's not the problem. It, it was the elevated humidity that was in the, the in the basement. They have water intrusion through the base of the foundation, and you can you can see how the paint's being blown off, and how there's water marks going across the floor and so on. So you you always look up, and so I looked on the overhead floor joists and the decking. That, there was a lot of uh, mold growth up there. Um, it was white and streaky. I think it has to do with the um, the sap content of boards because some didn't have any others had these really pronounced streaks that followed the grain of the wood so <clears throat> there was a lot there now this is a family that's a real do-it-yourself kind of group of people so when I tell people how to do things it's different than when I I do it myself because with homeowners, you won't, don't want to encourage them to use any chemicals because these chemicals are corrosive and they're, you have to wear a chem, chemical retardant suit. I mean, like what you see in the movies and you have to wear carbon cartridges and you have to treat it really, really carefully. And I don't want to tell people how to do that. So I always tell them, just, just get soap. Just, I mean, in my business, we just use Dawn dishwashing liquid. It has a really good surfactant property to it and you wipe it down the floor joists and wherever the mold is, and then with a soapy rag, and then you uh, do it, say, once or twice, and then you can come back <clears throat> with a scrub brush, not wire, but bristle, and gently uh, scrub the surface down and then wipe it down a few more times. So, you know, industry standard is to clean the surface three times. And if and I encourage them to also buy a HEPA vacuum because they have little ones and it's a much more effective way of cleaning if you can HEPA vacuum the surface off uh, before you begin this uh, removal technique. Don't use bleach, don't use vinegar. All you want to do is use a good surfactant liquid and it's a wet technique and uh, uh, you're just trying to remove it. Uh, another thing is anytime you work over with something over your head, wear safety glasses and a, uh, a respirator. I mean, a real respirator. That means you can't have any facial hair. Uh, or you can have a mustache, but you can't have anything on your chin.